I will fix the faulty wiring connection in this brand new mini split air conditioner indoor circuit board and I have passed electricity through the unit to test what problem it makes. But before that, let me tell you that when this air conditioner was installed, the installer checked its connection but wasn't able to fix it. Now, I will check whether it was his mistake or if there was something wrong with the wiring connection. Right now, 229 AC voltages are passing through the air conditioner as it is powered by electricity, and I have attached the probes of the multimeter with the circuit board main electricity. Now, I will press the emergency switch on the circuit board. The air conditioner is not working after I press it. So, let's start checking what the problem is with this air conditioner. Now, I will remove the circuit board of this air conditioner and check its connections. This brown wire is the main live electric cable, and with the brown wire connector, this red wire is attached. The blue wire is the neutral wire. A black wire is attached to this connector, where the blue neutral wire is attached. I will take the circuit board out of its box, this way, I will understand better. And see this, the other end of the black wire is not connected anywhere. The blue wire is common for indoor and outdoor units. So, the black wire will be installed with the neutral terminal of the connector because the wire has disconnected out of its terminal. Now let's check for any other mistake or the circuit board is faulty. This connector is also not attached to the circuit board. And let's check what is the purpose of this connector. In old models of indoor circuit boards, the SMPS circuit and the switching relay were installed on this main circuit board. Now the company has separated the circuit board of the switching relay from the main circuit board. Now, let's open this second smaller circuit installed inside the box. This is the SMPS of this circuit board, but electricity is not passing through it. And see this, the switching IC of this SMPS circuit is blown up. Before replacing this IC, I will fix the connections of this unit. Now I have separated the circuit board from the indoor unit box. The old circuit boards of these units were designed something this way. The SMPS circuit is inside this one board, then this filtering circuit. This is the switching relay, which turns on the outdoor unit. The indoor fan blower motor capacitor is installed here. All the different sections of the circuit are installed in one circuit board. Now, the company has separated it. In this circuit board, the indoor fan blower motor capacitor is installed. This is the switching relay. This will pass electricity to the outdoor unit. The SMPS circuit which powers this circuit has been separated. I will now explain the connections of this circuit board. As the brown is the main live wire, the phase is further connected to this relay with this red wire. When this relay turns on, the outdoor unit will turn on. Otherwise, the electricity will not flow to the outdoor unit. The blue wire is the neutral and the black wire is attached to it. This is the common point of the neutral, which is connected with the outdoor and the indoor unit. The black wire will be installed in the 2N terminal of this indoor connector. These two brown wires are used to give 12 volts to this relay, which are coming from this main circuit board. Someone has made a mistake, but I don't think that the mistake was made before or later. Now, I have found a mistake here, and I am thinking, the 12 volts to the relay do not pass from this connector. Rather, the 12 volts pass from this white connector. Someone has attached it to the wrong connector. Besides this, the circuit board's PTC sensor has also blown. On the board, it's mentioned PTC, but actually, an NTC sensor is installed inside. Well, it does not make a big difference, but as PTC is written, so PTC should have been installed. I have checked the fuse of this circuit board, it has also been blown. I will replace all these faulty components in this circuit board, and let's see whether the circuit board works or not. I have desoldered this old switching IC out of the circuit board and replaced it with a new one. The rectification circuit in the board is also problematic. Let me show you. As I put the multimeter probes on the pin of the diodes, it's showing zero voltage drop on the multimeter. All four of them show zero voltage drop. These diodes will also be replaced now. This is the wiring diagram of the circuit board. The connector of the relay for 12 volts was installed in connector number 9, which was wrong. The connector number 9 is optional, as mentioned in the diagram. Used for plasma or UVC. As mentioned in the diagram, the correct 12 volt connector is connector number 8. The air conditioner has started to operate after replacing all the faulty components with wiring. The display shows the temperature at 16 degrees. The blower fan motor is also working perfectly fine. Join the membership on Patreon to support the channel. Click on the left or right thumbnail to watch the next videos and subscribe. Thank you.